I have kind of a bold prediction here for you guys today, and I'll admit it if I'm wrong a year from now, but I believe over the next 12 months, there will be more portable power stations purchased than ever before. And I think there are three reasons for that. Number one, I think that people are starting to recognize that our nation's power grid here in the US is in decline. We're starting to see a lot of dip problems go on with it, a lot of power outages. There's been a lot of issues and I think people wanna be prepared for that. People are starting to recognize that. Secondly, I think that the units that are coming to market recently, just over the past couple of months, are very exciting. They are the perfect trifecta of portability, longevity, and pricing. And then finally, I think that this new rewards system that EcoFlow is introducing is gonna be pretty hard to resist because of how easy it is to earn discounts on their products. So stay tuned to hear about these promotions that they are currently running and how you can earn bonus credits. Today, we're gonna to talk about the brand new EcoFlow River 2 Pro. All right, specifications are something you can look up to yourself normally, and it's kind of a waste of video to list them, but I'll do it anyway because there's always someone asking for them. I'll do my best to keep it under 60 seconds. So in the box, you're gonna get the River 2 Pro itself, you're gonna get the power cord, you're gonna get a 5521 cord, and you're gonna get the DC charging cord. The River 2 Pro has 11 total ports. You're gonna get four AC ports, three USB-A ports, one 100 watt USB-C port, 126 watt DC port, and two of the 5521 ports rated at 36 watts for RV refrigerators or CPAPs for your grandpa. It weighs 7.8 kilograms and measures 270 by 260 by 226 millimeters, or for the 4% of the human race that uses imperial measurements, that's 17.2 pounds, measuring 10.6 by 10.24 by 8.9 inches. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery, so it's gonna last longer than any single appliance that you have in your house right now. All right, that's enough specs. Let's get to the good stuff. Now, before we get into more discussion about the River 2 Pro, I wanted to give you some value right at the front end of the video. Hit the thumbs up if you appreciate that. I'm going to plug a few things into the River 2 Pro and see how long it can power them. And we're going to start with one of the most challenging ones, a little space heater here. So let's go ahead and turn this on and we're going to see how long it would power a small space heater. Looks like it's pulling about 800 watts, between 880, 824 watts and we're gonna get about 44 minutes of runtime on that. So let's go check out a few more things and see how long they last. This fan on full power for nine hours. This television for about six hours. All right, pretty cool. You're gonna be able to run that for almost an hour. Portable air pump for about four hours. Shop vac for about an hour. Grinder for about four hours. It can run a pot of coffee because it'll last about 38 minutes with a normal drip coffee maker. This foot massager for about eight hours. Wouldn't that be nice? Finally, I saved the best for last. It can power my be uh, pop fridge for about three hours when it's running. Of course, it's not gonna be running all the time, so I know that it could probably keep this running and my beverages nice and cold for at least a couple of days. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's key. So hopefully, this video gives you enough information to decide if the River 2 Pro is the one that's gonna meet your needs. Now, first things first, what is the greatest appeal of this particular unit for the average person? Well, for me personally, it's portable enough to take with me anywhere, but it has enough power to charge all of my content creation gear when I'm away from home. And I will tell you right now, in my opinion, this is not the best option for emergency backup. This is a strictly convenience unit. And yes, it could certainly help keep the lights on for a while if the power goes out, but there are more specific units available for those purposes. This one is meant to be on the go. The number one highlight of the River 2 Pro, for me anyway, is its incredible lifespan, which makes it the best investment over the long term. You can use this unit right here every single day for 10 years straight and it would only lose 20% of its capacity. That's 3,000 full 
cycles before it reaches 80%, and that's amazing. And that's due to the lithium iron phosphate chemistry, making it not only longer lasting, but much more safe for the environment. In fact, this is the only portable power station on the market right now that has been certified by TUV Rhineland. You've never heard of that? Don't feel bad, I haven't either, just until a couple of days ago. But after I Googled who they are and what they do, and I did a little bit of research about them, I am now even more impressed with EcoFlow's commitment to safety. EcoFlow continues to lead the industry in charging speed. The River 2 Pro can be charged from zero to 100% in 70 minutes with AC power. It can take up to 940 watts of AC charging input. It's unrivaled in its class. One thing I wanna make you aware of, when you first get your River 2 Pro and you plug it into the wall, you wanna charge it up for the first time, just know that you're not gonna get a full charging rate right away. You know, when they ship these to you, they have to be under 30% capacity. And then when you plug it in, it starts charging. You're not gonna get a full, like right now I'm getting 880 watts of input. You're not gonna get that right away. It starts out, it kind of ramps up. So it starts out about 240. Once it gets to about 40%, then it'll ramp up to about 400, 500 watts. And then finally, when it hits 60%, it's gonna start taking the full uh, input of AC power. So just be aware of that. Don't freak out if you plug it in and it's only taking in 240. Uh, that's gonna be normal. You can also charge it with the car charger, which is gonna pretty much take all day, but that may be useful on a road trip or something like that. Or the best way of all to charge this thing is with solar power. It's free power and it's available most of the time. It can take up to 220 watts of solar charge at 50 volts max. Speaking of solar, the EcoFlow solar panels are super nice, but there's one thing that has always bothered me just a little bit, and that's how they don't stay open perfectly, especially if they are cold. And I get it, they're not rigid panels, but I wish there was like, I don't know, like a little lightweight bracket or maybe some clips on the back or something that would help to keep those panels straight. You see what I mean? Like these here, you know, they never stay straight. I feel like they could have something, I don't know, like a, a clip on the back of here. Like they could just put something here to keep the fold from bending and making it flexible like this. I don't know. I don't know what it could be, but there's gotta be a way to make it stay straight. And maybe that's just my OCD, but it just bugs me. It really wouldn't take too much, I don't think. So maybe I should try to come up with something like 3D print something or I don't know, but I just feel like there could be something for that. But otherwise I love how portable these panels are from EcoFlow. The perfect one for this River 2 Pro right here, of course, is the EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial panel, which has the ability to absorb ambient light from the back of the panel. And that's really, really cool. Now I don't have one of those. I have the 160 watt, I have the 110 watt, and then I have the, 100, uh, the 400 watt monster. That thing is amazing. But And I really wish I had that 220 watt bifacial because I just think it's just the right size and having that little extra, I think you can get up to like 25% more charge just because of that bifacial design. Now, of course, if you already have a solar panel from any other brand, they will work with the River 2 Pro as long as you have the XT60 connector or an adapter. Now, the fastest you're gonna be able to charge with solar is about four hours, but that's with perfect, like perfect ideal conditions. And that's with at least 220 watts of input. So you're probably not gonna get that. Like I charged it today with solar and the best I was getting, of course, I live up in the north, so the sun is really not very good right now, but the best I could get was 120 watts of input. So it would take about six hours to charge this uh, as long as I kept moving the panel with the sun. So, And as long as you don't exceed 50 volts, you can run multiple panels for faster charging to get that up to 220, but uh, it's not ideal. And especially you live as far north as I do, it's gonna be a little more challenging to charge it in the wintertime with that, but during the summer, awesome. You can charge this thing in probably about five hours. Oh, and you can also charge the River 2 Pro with the USB-C, which is kind of cool, but you're probably not gonna ever use that since most of the time, if you have USB-C power to charge this with, you're gonna have AC power. So you might as well just plug it into the wall, but it might come in useful once in a while. Now this is a 768 watt hour battery with an 800 watt inverter. But EcoFlow, of course, has the X-Boost technology where you can power devices that require up to 1600 watts. So that's just about anything in your home, including most power tools and 
most of your home appliances, you know, not the big ones, but most of them, this is going to be able to power. Now, many of you are going to ask, what is the efficiency of this unit? Because that's very important to most people. Well, I don't have a meter to check that, but what I did is I plugged in my little space heater back here. I set it to low, which drew a constant 824 watts, and I started the Rev2 Pro at 100 watts, uh, at 100%, and brought it all the way down to 0% until the heater shut off, and it lasted for 43 minutes and 53 seconds. Now, what is that efficiency overall? I have no idea. I have no idea how to do the math. Now, you might be able to figure it out. I'm sure some of you probably could do it in your head right now. So if you can, comment down below, what is that percentage of efficiency so the rest of us can see what it is? Now, I used to carry the original River Pro with me in my vehicle at all times. It has actually been the workhorse of my portable power stations, but now I'm gonna be switching it out for this newer version. I'm gonna be using this to charge my drone batteries, my controllers, my laptop, my DJI wireless microphones, my camera batteries, and so much more. Some other notable things about the River 2 Pro, it weighs just over 17 pounds. The carrying handle is pretty nice, it's pretty convenient, although it does kinda hang at an angle. It's like kinda diagonal, so it kinda bumps into your leg once in a while when you're carrying it. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like you're gonna go hiking with this and carry it, but it's just something that I noticed how it just kind of hangs a little bit awkward. I love how the top is flat so it can be easily stored. You can set things on top of it. Like it fits really nicely if you're packing it in somewhere. It's a much better design than that handle on top like the old River Pro. Now, one thing I think they really missed out on was not putting a wireless charger on top. I don't get it. Like you could actually have two wireless chargers on here so you could put two phones on here and charge them, but I'm not sure why they skipped that. I, the only thing I could think of is maybe that would have raised the cost a little bit and they wanted to keep this affordable, but I don't know, maybe people aren't doing wireless charging anymore, I have no idea. So, But I love that my little River Mini has that. Uh, that's really awesome. We use that all the time when we go camping, we just put it on the picnic table, set our phones on top and it charges uh, when we're not using our phones. And we use it in the soccer fields all the time too. I bring it with put it in the wagon and we can charge our phones when we're sitting at the soccer field for eight hours on a Saturday. So <laughs> now, just like most other EcoFlow units, the River 2 Pro does have a less than 30 millisecond emergency power supply. So if you have something that needs to stay powered, you plug it into here and then you plug this into the wall. Now, as I mentioned, there are better options for this purpose, but if you aren't using this anyway, if it's just sitting on the shelf at home or maybe it's sitting in your office and just sitting there, you might as well plug something into it that you wanna keep powered if your power supply gets interrupted. And finally, the EcoFlow app is super convenient. It's awesome way to monitor and control what's going on with your River 2 Pro. They keep updating the app, making it more user-friendly. It's very easy to navigate. You can check the discharge and the charging rates. You can power it on and off. You can do a lot of different things with this app. It's very nice to be able to control it from anywhere in the world. Also, the River 2 Pro has a five year warranty, you guys, which no other brand offers at this time, at least that I could find. So you can be confident that EcoFlow is really proud of this thing and they're really gonna back this thing up. Five years, I mean, that's, that's pretty fun. <laughs> okay, not fun, but it's pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, EcoFlow has what are called eco credits. You can earn points for doing certain things. You get points for purchases, you get points for registering your purchases, you get points for changing the nickname of your power stations in the app even. So it's pretty cool and it's a great way to earn coupons towards future purchases. And for a limited time, if you purchase the River 2 Pro directly from EcoFlow, you're gonna get triple points. And I'm no mathematician, like I said, but I believe that's about 1,800 points. And if you look at the reward system right now, 2,000 points gets you $100 off coupons. So the rewards are pretty significant with this program. You will also receive a free backpack with this promotion for the River 2 Pro. So great, great promotions going on right now. Like I said, for a limited time, I'll put the dates right up here on the screen. Now, if you don't wanna buy it directly from EcoFlow and you happen to purchase the River 2 Pro from Amazon, there's a link in the description, you're not gonna earn those points, but you're gonna be able to purchase one of those solar panels for a huge discounted price, up to 55% off actually. That's the biggest sale that I've ever had on a solar panel. So. Pretty cool. And then also, there's more. <laughs> so like an infomercial, but wait, there's more. Also, if you use this code right here, 51 drones 5 on either Amazon or on the EcoFlow site, you're gonna get an additional 5% off until May 3rd of 2023. I think a lot of people are gonna purchase this just because it's it's priced 
just right. It's right in the middle there. It's really, really affordable. I'm not gonna say the price right now. You're gonna have to look because the price is gonna change so much, but I think at the making of this video, it's, it's $600, I lied, I'm gonna say the price. I think it's $600. Once again, all of the links are down in the video description for the EcoFlow site and the Amazon purchase site. Let me know if you have any questions about this unit. Also comment below, what would you do with a River 2 Pro? Like why are you considering this? Why are you even watching this video? Is it, have you been looking for a portable power station for convenience? Are you looking for emergency backup? Like, tell me, what would you use this for? For me, content creation, of course, but might be different for you. Let's see how diverse the uses are. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you feel like I gave you anything of value today. Subscribe to join the channel, become one of the family. Follow me on all the socials right here. I'll put them up on the screen, at 51drones. I wanna thank you sincerely for watching the entire video today. You guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.